Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Britain continues to advocate a return to a civilian-led government in Sudan and improved humanitarian access. We have vigorously condemned the atrocities taking place in Darfur, as well as the other regions of Sudan. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Labour stands in solidarity with the people of Sudan who want only peace, justice and democracy and who reject the general's war. What is the government doing to support civilian organisations, including the Sudanese community here in the UK, to build unity in opposition to the conflict and to military rule? Well, Mr Speaker, it's not just Labour who stand in solidarity. It's the whole House and, indeed, the whole uh, country. And in respect of the civilian leadership, I spoke on Friday last week to Abdullah Hamdok, uh, who is the civilian political leader. Uh, he and many of his colleagues will be meeting in Addis Ababa this week, and we very much hope those meetings will yield some progress. Thank you, Mr Speaker. The all-party group for Sudan and South Sudan has heard how people in Darfur are still facing daily bombings, killing, rape, pillage and torture and members of the Darfuri community here who are deeply worried about the ethnic cleansing. What is happening to try to reduce the flow of weapons and to get urgent humanitarian aid to the 24 million people who desperately need it? Minister. Well, my right honourable friend is entirely right in, in what she says. We have recently contributed £600,000 to open source investigative um, uh, reporting to verify and preserve information on attacks on civilians and breaches of international humanitarian law. As, as she will know, we are providing £22 million of support uh, for uh, Sudan, £5 million recently announced to help people who have gone across the border into Chad and into South uh, Sudan. Um, and uh, She will also know that in the, on the humanitarian front, something like 19 or 19 humanitarian, humanitarian workers have been uh, murdered. But we are doing everything we can to try and get aid and help in. Question number two. 